Well, you know, this was taken just, uh, I was walking along, Neil says, uh, hey, hold it a minute. He had the camera. And so I stopped, because you see my footprints, uh, and he took the picture right away. And it wasn't posed, but look at the reflection in the visor. You can see my shadow, because the sun was off. You can see the shadow here. You can see it in, in the film, and you can see the guy taking the picture. It was Neil, it wasn't anybody else. <laughs> and the spacecraft is there. So this is called the visor picture. And people have said, why, why is this so classic, so unique? Well, I got three words. Anybody in the real estate business out there? <laughs> I got three words. Location, location, <laughs> location. Again, it's Sophie Barrett and Cindy Shea for DITV. Buzz Aldrin was an engineer and astronaut who participated in the world's biggest problem-solving challenge ever. Absolutely. Back then, before modern computers, NASA and Buzz figured out how to send men to the moon. And it was like a competitive challenge against the Russians. And the world was like the appraisers. Let's talk to some people who just listened to a man who walked on the moon. What was it like listening to a man who talked, walked on the moon? It was really interesting. It's cool that he's actually here and supporting Global Finals. It's just really awesome to have somebody who's been on a different surface other than Earth. It was interesting because you can't do this every day. You can't walk into a room and meet somebody who's been on the moon. He gave funny answers. Why would you like to go to space? to see all of the things in space that are different from here. I've always kind of had wonders at what it would like to be in zero gravity. I don't really know how to change direction if there's no gravity. Would you like to go to Mars and why? Well, I think it would be really fun but dangerous. I'd like to go there because, I mean, it would be just really awesome to be there and be one of the people who got to do that. It would be really awesome being on a whole nother planet in the universe. What did you take from Buzz Aldrin's talk? I mean, he's just so into getting to Mars and so into supporting Mars and getting there. I try to just learn that it's not very easy to go on the moon and be astronauts and all. For DITV, I'm Cindy Shea. And I'm Sophie Varen.